So a couple months ago, South Park did an episode in which they talked about the complete destruction of the Star Wars universe at the hands of Kathleen Kennedy, who's just been awful. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, like the original series and even the prequel series, which has grown on me over time, especially in comparison to the garbage that has been churned out by Disney. Now, Disney has done a couple of things that are right. Like the stuff that Dave Filoni is doing over there, that's good stuff. Star Wars Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels, this is stuff my kids typically like. You know, they, they made a couple of, of decent, Rogue One is good, but Kathleen Kennedy overall has just destroyed the series, destroyed the series. So South Park was making fun of Kathleen Kennedy for effectively having turned Star Wars into a woke universe of nonsense. They had Cartman having a dream in which he replaces Kathleen Kennedy. And uh, here is the take. Is there a problem, people? No problem at all, Mrs. Kennedy. We were just discussing uh, ideas of what to do with the new Prince Eric movie. Put a kick in it. Make her gay. Uh, yes, Miss Kennedy, uh, some of the execs are just expressing that maybe... Well, well, that maybe we should go a different route than we did with Indiana Jones. F*** Indiana Jones, put a chicken in it and make her name it gay! <laughs> well, that, that in fact is Kathleen Kennedy's strategy, apparently. So, Star Wars, again, one of the great IPs in all of human history. I mean, it's a tremendous piece of IP. It's like tens of billions of dollars worth of IP. And they've now decided to turn over the universe to a person named Charmin Obeid Chinoy. So who exactly is this person? Well, she's mostly famous for having made a couple of nonfiction documentaries that won Oscars about feminism and anti-feminism in Pakistan. Which, that's fine, but what, is that, what does that have to do with Star Wars? What, what makes you think that you can transition from making a terrific documentary about, say, honor killings in Pakistan to... Now you're in charge of the Star Wars universe. Like, where is that? How? How does that happen? Well, she then was a director, one of the directors, on Miss Marvel, the 2022 series from Disney Plus that literally no one watched and that no one wanted to watch and that no one cared about because it looked not good. And uh, they've decided to put her in charge of the next Star Wars movie, which will focus in on Rey. You remember Rey, or maybe you don't. She is the star of the last Star Wars trilogy in which they killed off all the characters you love in favor of characters that no one gave any hoots about whatsoever. No one has said the name Poe Dameron in years because no one cares. No one cares about Finn and barely anyone cares about Rey. So they got rid of all your old favorites, but they killed off Han uselessly and stupidly. And then they killed off Luke uselessly and stupidly. And then they killed off Leia absolutely uselessly and stupidly. And then they added beloved characters like Rose, an awful character who annoyed everyone so much so that they literally wrote her out of the third movie, The Rise of Skywalker. Have you ever heard of data brokers? They're the middlemen collecting and selling all those digital footprints you happen to leave online. They can stitch together detailed profiles, which include your browsing history, online searches, location data. Then they sell that profile to a company that delivers you a targeted ad. No big deal, right? Well, you might be surprised to learn these same data brokers are also selling your information to the DHS and the IRS, which is really bad. To mask my digital footprints, I protect myself with ExpressVPN because my data is my business. One of the easiest ways for brokers to aggregate that data and tie it back to you is through your device's unique IP address. That also reveals information about your location. When you're connected to ExpressVPN, your IP address is hidden. That makes it way more difficult for data brokers to identify who you are. ExpressVPN also encrypts 100% of network traffic to keep your data safe from hackers on public Wi-Fi. That's why I have the ExpressVPN app downloaded on all my devices. You can use it with your phone, computer, even your home Wi-Fi router. All you need to do is tap one button and turn it on and you are now protected. I've been using ExpressVPN for years to protect my own data. You should do the same. Make sure your online activity and data is protected with the best VPN money can buy. Visit expressvpn.com slash Ben Shapiro show right now. Get three extra months for free through my special link. That's expressvpn.com slash Ben Shapiro show to learn more. The failure of Kathleen Kennedy's trilogy has been so dramatic that there's been like a whole new revisionist history set up where Last Jedi is a good movie when everyone knows that Last Jedi is absolute trash from, from Ryan Johnson. Everyone knows that. Just an absolute scrap heap of garbage is the is the last trail of gender Kathleen Kennedy. So she, instead of shifting focus, and again, why don't you just hand the next movie to Dave Filoni? Dave Filoni actually likes the series. Dave Filoni actually, you know, likes the characters. Dave Filoni actually understands what he is doing in the Star Wars universe and what the universe is all about. Instead, Kathleen Kennedy has hired this person who also happens to be not just a documentary filmmaker about, about the oppression of women in Pakistan, also, she was the first artist to co-chair the World Economic Forum in 2017. Well, I mean, those seem like great qualifications for a piece of 
high octane adventure fantasy sci-fi entertainment. Well, so they asked her about the new movie that's starring Ray, apparently 15 years after the end of Rise of Skywalker. And uh, here's what she had to say. So the first woman and the first person of color to direct a Star Wars film. It's set to be released in 2026. You can say that the force is strong with this one. Here's Charmino Bechinoy. You know, I'm very thrilled about the project because I think um, what we are about to create is something very special. And we're in 2024 now. And I think uh, it's about time that we had a woman uh, come forward uh, to shape the story in a galaxy far, far away. Uh, you had a woman who shaped all the stories in the galaxy far, far away. Her name is Kathleen Kennedy, and she sucks. She's awful. She's garbage at her job. And in any fair universe, she would have been fired. But she's unfireable because she's a woman. Also, the minute someone talks about historic IP and the first thing they say is, well, we're in 2024 now, you know the next thing out of their mouth is going to be the stupidest crap you ever heard in your entire life. Right? Whether it's Rachel Zegler talking about, it's 2024 now, we don't need a woman waiting to be saved by a man. It's a feminist diet. By the way, Daily Wire, yes, we here at Daily Wire will take full credit for Disney having to completely reshoot Snow White because we pointed out that not only that Rachel Zegler was saying this stuff, but then we actually committed to making a rival Snow White film. So an attempt to head us off a tiny company by Disney's lights, Disney had to reshoot the entire film. Well, they're going to have to reshoot the entire Star Wars universe, probably, because, again, I don't know how you blow IP this bad, but again, equity is the only thing that matters. Equity, equity, equity. We need a woman directing. How about you just make a good Star Wars film? You haven't done it for like a decade. The last decent Star Wars film was Rogue One. When is it like, what do you guys do for a living? And the answer is they please themselves. They please themselves on the stockholder dime. That's what they do because they, they, they like stakeholder capitalism. The World Economic Forum preaches it after all. It, it's everyone. The world can be changed by entertainment. And this is why you hire directors who have no history of directing anything good in the in this sphere and then decide that the way that you're going to do this is, is, by, is by putting them in charge of the single most lucrative IP in probably all of human history. So slow clap for Kathleen Kennedy. She's done it once again. Put a chicken in her maker gay. That's the, that's, that's the way this all works. Are you tired of the lies and the twists of the mainstream media talking points? Yeah, me too. Join me in my newest series, Fact, where I dismantle and bring truth to this tiring mainstream agenda. 